Hey what's up kids welcome back to our unlock skills channel today we're going to check out how to make this beautiful miniature of chair model to start with we have to make three popsticles which is 3 cm in length and 1 cm in width you can either use a scissor or a cutting player to cut this popsticle pieces in my case i'm more comfortable using a cutting player you can use a rubber band to bring these pieces together and then you can use this file to rub and make sure no pieces are projecting out. Once the three pieces are ready, it's time to stick together. So I am using a glue gun to stick these three pieces together. Next would be making a little lengthier popsticles. In this case, we will be using 9 cm in length and 1 cm in width, three popsticles. We are also using a glue gun to stick these popsticles together. Make sure once you apply the gums, immediately you stick the popsticles so that you get a good bond. There are chances that after you stick these pieces together, it may not be flat, but don't worry, I have a backup to make sure it is getting corrected. I will also be showing the details shortly. Next, we would be requiring two more pieces of popsticles, which would be 3 cm in length and 1 cm in width. This would be forming as a arm support for this chair model. Next we will be requiring two more pieces which is little bit lengthier which would be 6 cm in length and 1 cm in width. This will be forming a front leg support for this chair. Then it would be two more pieces with 4 cm in length and 1 cm in width. This would be a side braces for these legs. As I was mentioning earlier, don't worry about if when you join these pieces together if it's bending. Likewise what I am showing you here, you can take these small pieces, apply more glues and then you can stick it on the back which will act as a reinforcement and it will make sure these pieces are little more stiff. Let's start by attaching the seat portion. Make sure the seat is perpendicular to the bottom surface. Cover it with enough glue gun paste. Next start with the side legs, the front side legs. Use a pencil to mark it and then you can apply the glue gun appropriately and then you can stick it. You can give some time for the pieces to get right so that it is more stronger. And next we will start for the arm rest and then we will use the pieces for joining the bottom braces so that the front leg is more stronger. I later noticed that the front side also requires a brace so out of the scrapped popsicle sticks what I have thrown off in that I have took one and then marked it by pencil and then stuck it in front of that. You can also try the same method. So here it is the chair is all done and I have also tried one with Fevicol. This what you see here is done with Fevicol but you have to wait for a long time so that each and every pieces are dried enough. Now let's start the painting process. Here I have used the black nail polish because it has got both glossy finish as well as the black which is required. Sometimes you can also paint with a normal black color and then you can use a, uh, a garlic kind of finish to have it more shiny. And for the other sides I used a red color. It's up to you to have it more creative.
so all the painting is done i have left few pieces with the obstacles color to make sure it looks like really a wooden chair it's up to you guys to have your creative thoughts to apply your own creative world of colors to bring this chair more vibrant all right friends the chair model is done let's check out who has come to pose for this as a model for this chair miniature Thanks for watching this video friends if you also have made a miniature of this similar chair do post a pic in my instagram at unlock skills and i will meet you at the next video have fun and do subscribe if you like this